honestly lose my head if it was not screwed on. It is so good I don't live in a bigger house or like flat because I lose this phone 23 times a day, but I'm going skiing. It's Thursday and I'm going very, very, very early Saturday morning. So we fly at like 7 a.m. Saturday morning. So I have to be at the airport for like 4 a.m. So basically tomorrow. Um, and as you can hear, I'm still not packed. Just for a tiny bit of context before we get into this, because I don't want to ramble on, I want this to be like... I've been skiing once on like a family ski trip when I was about 17, and then I did a ski season when I was 19. I'm now 28, so it has been quite a while since I last went skiing, and the family ski trip I don't even really remember. It kind of feels like an out-of-body experience. I don't really remember it sort of being me. I don't know if that makes sense. I, I kind of remember it, but then I also kind of don't really remember skiing at all. I don't really remember what we did in the evenings. I know we stayed in a lovely, beautiful chalet, but I don't really, I can't, yeah, I don't really know. The ski season, obviously I remember, but a ski season and a ski trip are very very different so i'm kind of going into this blind this is almost like my first proper ski holiday obviously i'm an adult now and packing myself when i was younger i mean i was 17 so my mum probably didn't pack for me but she probably bought me all my ski gear and sorted all that out without me kind of maybe i don't know but obviously everything now i'm doing myself because i am an adult and let me tell you it's difficult like if you've never been skiing before, it can be really daunting, like knowing what to take, what's important, what's not important, if you're overpacking, if you're underpacking, how many layers you need, all of that. So I thought I would film a relatively in-depth pack with me so you can see everything I'm going to take. I'm going on a girls ski trip to Val d'Isère with four of my really good friends. I've never been to Val d'Isère. I did my ski season in Austria, St. Anton in Austria, which ugh, I don't know why I feel like this, and I could be wrong, but I feel like St. Anton is a harder place to ski than Val d'Isère. I think the slopes are harder in St. Anton. And that's kind of giving me a little bit of hope because as I say, I haven't skied in about nine years, eight, nine years. I hope it's like riding a bike. I don't know what suitcase to take. I'm obviously only taking one. We've only got 23 kg, like the normal sort of allowance you're allowed. And this is the case I normally take with me on all my trips. And I'm not gonna lie, I struggle even on like a summer trip when you're taking tiny little tops and shorts and dresses. I will struggle to get all my stuff in this because I'm an overpacker. And I do have this case, I've never used it before because it's gigantic and it's relatively heavy already. Like once that's full, I'm worried I'm not even gonna be able to lift it up myself, which is not gonna be great. With skiing, everything is so big. I feel like I might need to take this and I can take this as long as it's the right weight because the sizing doesn't matter. I think I'll start by packing this one and then if it gets a bit, a bit silly then I'll just have to go for this one and I'll just have to brave it and ask like men on the stairs or something to help me. I despise buying from ASOS which is so sad because they used to literally be my favorite brand to buy from they were so reliable need something next day delivery immediately asos would come to mind like they were the best place to shop they have all the brands their delivery service and i i don't think it's asos's fault necessarily i think it's their delivery service every that they use when I say they are the laziest delivery drivers, they are so bad, I have nothing but issues with them. And I ordered a ski jacket quite last minute, fair enough, but I paid £6.50 or whatever it was for next day delivery. And I've been in all morning, it was meant to be delivered today. I've been in all day, literally I've been awake since 6am. I haven't left the house, my mum's come round. I've literally been here in this flat all day. And I have a 24 hour concierge service. And at 1 p.m. I got an email being like, oh, we're so sorry, we've had to delay your parcel because no one was home. And I'm like, but I am home. I'm just like having one of those moments where I'm just like, Pfft. I'm quite hormonal and quite emotional because I'm due on my period, by the way. We're not gonna stress. Starting with the proper basics, so you're obviously going to need gloves when you go skiing. We're going for six days, but obviously you don't ski your first day and you don't ski your last day, unless you were there till like the evening, but we're not skiing our first day or our last day. So we're only technically skiing for four days, 
So I was like, do you know what? I just don't want to spend a lot of money on these gloves. So I bought these from Decathlon. I'm pretty sure they were like 9 dollars And they're pretty decent. They fit quite well. I think I got the extra small because I have tiny little hands. And they feel good. They feel very, very warm, comfy, thick. And they've got like this little bit that you can see so you put your hand there. So when you want to take them off, they're fine. And then you can... Go back in. Goggles. Basically, I was very kindly sent some goggles from this lovely, lovely brand, Messy Weekend. I have sunglasses from them and I absolutely love them. They kindly sent all of us girls a pair, or actually, I got two pairs, which was very, very kind of them. And they're really, really nice. I will show you them. So I got a black and a gray pair. This is the black pair, really, really nice. Plain black strap, which I love little bit of branding which is super simple and like minimal the what do you call this screen glass whatever this is called is silver they're really really nice the only issue is they're so big obviously you're going to have a helmet on so they're always going to go over hel a helmet which is fine but the face is just massive they're just like so big i don't know i literally cannot see anything because i don't want to take any of the stuff off because I'll send them back to them because obviously I'm not going to use them. But obviously I'm going to have a helmet on, which is then going to probably push them down a little bit. And I, I can hardly breathe. Like it's really restricting my nostril area. This is the grey pair that I got. So nice. Basically exactly the same. Obviously just in like a grey. The issue is they're unisex. So obviously with unisex stuff, everything is typically made in order to fit like the male because a male is typically, stereotypically bigger. Like a male's face would typically be bigger than a female's face. So they're, they're for men essentially, but they're not because obviously women can wear them. They're just too big for me. Just for context, these are my goggles that I ended up buying from Decathlon. They cost me 15 pounds, 14.99. And just for size, this is the size difference between them. Please do not mind my hair, it is so greasy, but it just didn't make sense for me to wash it today. I don't even think I've brushed it. <laughs> but this is the size difference. Like they're just so much smaller. Do you know what I mean? Which is sad, but I need to be able to see. I can't be restricted. I can't have my nostrils restricted. Like I've got loads of room in these, which is nice. So yeah, these were 14 99 from Decathlon. I picked up a pair of socks for each day I'm skiing. I got these from Amazon, which are the brand Stark Soul, and they're grey, red, and white, and I love them. I think they're so nice. I'm not really a red gal, but we'll get onto that later. The jacket I ordered from ASOS is red, basically, which is also giving me, like, maybe I made a mistake with ordering a red jacket. I'm not really a red gal, so... We'll see. They do these in so many different colors on Amazon as well. I really wanted the pink because I have a pink outfit. I mean, so stupid because no one sees your socks anyway, so it's so silly, but I just like to be coordinated. But the red were the only ones that would come in time for the trip. The other ones, the delivery was much longer. I also picked up these from Decathlon, which were about 6 99 Black, not as long, I don't think. Let's open them. This is the size difference for comparison. So the Amazon ones are a lot longer. They're going to come up much higher on the legs. So probably, oh my God, it's absolutely pouring. Probably going to keep you warm because they're going to come up higher on your leg. Also, these are not very stretchy, these decathlon ones. These ones, however, much stretchier. In terms of thermals, I got two pairs of proper like Lux performance base layer thermals from dare to be so i got the black dog tooth print and the uh, black ombre both in a size small i could have got the extra small but as you will very quickly learn throughout this video trying to work out sizing in ski wear is harder than flying to the moon so this is the dog tooth print it's actually really nice i actually I really like it. I'm very impressed. Very stretchy. It's lovely and like soft, quite thick. This one has a zip neck, which is nice. So 
So I'll probably wear something underneath this and then wear this almost as like a top layer. Very, very long, comes down very long on the body, like so stretchy, so much room for activities. Leggings are also really nice, just exactly the same, very stretchy. Very, very soft. Really, really impressed with that. I really like it. Wish I got two pairs just to have because I just don't know how cold I'm gonna be. I'm cold now in my flat in London <laughs> and it's meant to be minus 15 degrees there. Pray for me. Then this is the black ombre. The top in the size small is a little bit bigger. In this one, I could have done with the extra small. This one's just like a round crew neck and then the leggings are like this. I think that's actually the back. I think that's the front. Would recommend, they were kindly gifted to me from the brand, which is very nice of them. Then I had a bit of a palaver. I've had many a palaver on this little journey that I've been on with this ski stuff. I bought the M&S, some thermals from M&S. These are the heat gen range from M&S and they're meant to be, they're like Japanese. They're made with like a special Japanese technology which is meant to make them very warm. I have ended up getting, ah, my thumb. This is all I managed to get in the end. M&S thermals are like hotcakes. Like they're literally sold out everywhere. They're always sold out. I went into like three different stores. They are cleared out. So if you're looking specifically for M&S thermals, I would go online, pop your email in and your size, even your size below, your size above, and wait it out and just order them when you can. The gray is the only color I could get, but I actually quite like it. It looks really nice on. By the way, I'm not gonna try anything on in this video because I'm gonna be wearing it all in the next video, which will be the vlog. So that will be the video after this, which I'll be vlogging the trip. Because otherwise this just would be the longest video in the history of longest videos and I just don't wanna, yeah. So I won't try them on, but they do look really, really cute together. They actually fit very nicely. I got the leggings in a six and the tops in an eight solely because that's all I could get. And pretty happy with them, actually, to be honest. The only thing I would say, and maybe this is just how they're meant to be, and this is like why they're so good, is they are very, very thin. Like, they're extremely thin, and maybe that's the special Japanese technology that they're meant to be very, very thin. They're very soft, very lightweight, so they're probably gonna be quite easy to pack, and they're not gonna take up a lot of room, which is good. But there's just part of me that is like, how is this gonna keep me warm? These are, not gonna lie, my favorite thing I bought for the whole ski trip and I got them from Primark. They were five pounds each. <laughs> I went into Primark to buy a coat. I really wanted like a big fluffy or like faux fur coat to take skiing. Just so I'm just gonna take one coat for like the airport and all the evenings and stuff. Looked in Primark, they didn't have any. I didn't really wanna spend like a huge amount on it. So anyway, I found these when I was in there and they're just those sort of vest gilet knit things. They don't have any sides on them. So they're like completely open like that, but they're very high neck and they zip all the way from the top of the neck down to like there. I saw them and I thought, you know what? They are perfect for doubling up as an extra layer and like a snud. They are honestly such good quality for Primark. I can't believe it. Like, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but they're so thick and chunky. I'm really glad I bought them. I got the black and then this sort of greyish. And I honestly love them. Like, I'm so glad I bought them. They look really cute with all my outfits that I've tried on. They're super warm and cozy. <sighs> Let me show you one on. So they go on like this and then you can zip them all the way up like this. How nice. So then I have my goggles, my helmet. Honestly, really love them. Very, very chuffed. Wish they did them in more colors. I wish I could have got a white or like a cream. And then very, very randomly, I bought this from Pretty Little Thing, which I don't really shop at. I haven't shopped at Pretty Little Thing for years and years and years. But I saw they came up with a new ski range and I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna have a little look. Skiing as a holiday itself is so expensive. And if I can pick up one or two things that are on the cheaper side, then let's do it. I bought a pink knitted all-in-one, like onesie, zip up. It's ribbed. 
I'm not gonna lie, it's all right. I thought it was gonna be a lot thinner than this. I got the size small because the extra small was out of stock and I'm very glad I did because I think the extra small would have been a bit too... I'm just gonna film a little unboxing of this for my Instagram story but I just wanted to show you before I completely ruin it, how cute is this little package from Lebecca? I love this brand, I have bought stuff from them and they have sent me stuff very kindly in the past. So this is a jumper that they've sent, ooh, that they've sent me, which is gifted. And then they've let me borrow these few little bits, which I'm honestly obsessed with. They're so, so nice. So yeah, thank you so much to Lebecca. They are honestly beautiful. Um, I'm just gonna film the unboxing for Instagram and then I will show you them, like what they are. This is what was in the little Christmas present. Isn't it just giving you such ski vibes, chalet girl vibes. Really giving me all the ski vibes and I have a blue outfit, blue and cream outfit. I think I'm gonna wear this under a ski outfit on one of the ski days. Cause then obviously when we're like at lunch or like at prey, I can take my jacket off and be wearing this. Then they also, sent me these just to loan, just to wear or have like for the trip. And honestly, low-key obsessed, like low-key obsessed with this. It's like a houndstooth dog tooth print. It goes like this as like a scarf. And then it's got a hood. The hood, the hood, we're not sure on. She's quite big, but I just love it. I think I'm gonna wear it to the airport, which I know sounds a bit rogue, but it's like a big blanket, so snuggly. And I think I'm gonna wear it with like a white leggings and top set with this. And then my boots, which is the next thing I'm gonna show you. The only pair of shoes I'm taking, and I'm wearing them to the airport, so I don't have to get them in the case, which is good. I'm gonna tell you about these. Let me just get the other one. Oh no, I haven't showed you that. Oh, I'm all over the place. This. I'm not sure, I haven't tried this on, so I have no idea how it's gonna fit or if I'm gonna want to take it, but it looks pretty cute. So it's a cardigan, but kind of not a cardigan, kind of like a shawl, I don't know how I would explain it, with this, which looks like a skirt, but it's actually a top. You wear the top, like that, little bandeau, and then you wear the cardigan, a wrap, around you like this. Oh, she is kind of shawly. She's kind of giving, you know, just those like shoulder things. I look absolutely ridiculous, but I'm just giving you the vibes. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Quite cute. Leather pants, big old scarf, big coat, gloves, out for dinner. Could be quite sweet. Moon boots. I had a hat, ha I have had a journey, quite the journey with moon boots. So originally I wanted the short and I wanted them in the cream, the white and cream. Although thinking about it, black probably does make more sense because black probably just goes with more outfits and I'm probably just gonna wear a lot of black in the evenings because, but couldn't find the cream anywhere in the short in my size. Then I was like, okay, we'll go for the black. Then I looked for the black in the short, couldn't find them anywhere in my size. I was like, for God's sake. So then I was like, right, I'm gonna go for the long. Couldn't find the long anywhere in my size. I don't know what it was, they were just sold out everywhere. I probably left it too long. I probably should have bought them before Christmas, but I didn't. So I was like, I can't get them. So then I was like, ASOS, the dreaded ASOS. I was like, they have some on there that are like exactly the same. They're like a Jeep and they're like 30 pounds. But then mum was like, do you know if they're going to be waterproof? Like, if you're walking in thick snow, are your feet just going to get soaked anyway? And then I was like, oh, I don't know. So then I thought, do you know what? I'm just going to have a look on Her, which is a rental website in Selfridges. And I have rented stuff from them before quite a few times. They're a really great service. I actually highly recommend them. And I went on. I typed in moon boots, I typed in size four, and these came up exactly what I wanted, the short moon boots. And I undenied because I was like, is renting shoes a bit weird? Like other people have worn them. But then I was like, I'm gonna have thick socks on every time I wear them. I'm gonna wear them for literally six days. Like, does it matter? Am I being too particular, too fussy? 
Anyway, after all that, I was like, Amy, stop being so bloody ridiculous. Just rent the boots. It's absolutely fine. And so I rented them. They came yesterday. They're brand bloody new. They've still got the label on. They're literally pristine, never been worn, perfect condition. So I don't know why I was so panicked in the first place. I'm not gonna lie, they're quite tight. I think it's because they've never been worn before. Normally I think they mold to your foot after a while, so they fit you like perfectly. They're very cute, they're very comfortable, very warm, very squishy. People say the short ones are not as convenient or practical if you're in like thicker snow because the snow can sometimes literally come up to there so you want the longer ones but because I'm so small I just think these ones look so cute they're kind of like the mini Uggs like the ultra mini Uggs they're giving me that but ultra mini moon boots so I'm very happy with them as I say they're the only pair of shoes I'm taking with me I'm literally gonna wear them to the airport I'm gonna wear them every night and that's it so with her they come in a little bag like this and it has like a lock on here that you cut off when you get it so you know no one's been in it and then they send you the returns label inside already prepaid like done i rented them for eight days so i got them yesterday wednesday so my last day to send them back is friday the 20th which is the day after i get home and i just have to send them back on friday in the post in that bag take put the label on, take it to the post office, and that's literally it. It's so good, so simple. Obviously, it's super sustainable, and they are brand new. So I was totally panicking about wearing someone else's shoes, and they're brand new anyway, so fine. Moving on to actual ski wear. First outfit is the Jack Wills set, the blue Jack Wills set. So I picked up this, which is a blue jacket belted it's obviously got like white stripes and then black detailing so we'll go with either black or white which is really really nice i like that it has both those colors in it obviously it's got the belt around here which i love because it cinches you in it's super flattering it's got a little pocket here inside pocket there it's obviously got pockets on the outside it's got like an inner popper belt bit so you can cinch yourself in and really tuck yourself in and whatever clip yourself in. It's got another pocket here, which is a button pocket. And then I decided to opt for the skinny ski pant because I just think it looks quite chic. No pockets, so very, very slim. They have the little stirrup at the bottom, which I quite like. Ah! No. I then did also pick up one of the ski suits from Jack Wills. But I had decided I wasn't going to take this because I had all my other outfits originally. But this is obviously black and white, it zips down, it's got a pocket there, no inside pockets. It is belted. I've taken the belt off because I'm actually using the belt for another outfit, another look. These legs are slightly flared and they have like the inside leg bit, which is good. And they also have a zip on the leg, which opens it up, I guess, in case your boots are too big or wider than that i guess sizing wise size up jack wills ski stuff comes up so small and obviously you have to get all of your thermals on underneath so picture your normal size and size up at least twice actually do you know what my one piece of advice if you're going skiing buy all your stuff in advance buy it a month in advance because i'm just the queen of last minute and i need everything to the last minute and i really wish i hadn't with the ski stuff because a lot of it has ended up arriving and not fitting me and i don't have time to buy anything else because i literally leave in one day just make sure you're buying your pieces like in plenty of time so that if they arrive and they're too big or too small you have another week or two to purchase the smaller or bigger size. I got this in a size eight, the ski suit. No, sorry, I got the ski suit in an eight, I got the ski jacket in a 10, and I got the ski pants in an eight as well. When they arrived, the jacket was perfect. I've kept the 10, 10's great. The pants were so tight to the point where I couldn't really even fit thermals on underneath. So I was like, shit, I need to size up in that because with ski wear, you, you need room for like movement. The suit I got in the eight originally and it fits me really, really nicely. But my mum was like, I think you should size up. 
So I did get the 10 as well. This is my favorite look of the whole trip. It has been kindly loaned to me from My Sunday Ski and I'm obsessed with it. I literally love it so much. Sorry, it's a baby pink ski suit. It, honestly, so obsessed. It also has a belt. It's the black belt. Oh my God, it's literally my dream ski suit. I love it so much. It's got the like fluffy hood. Does it have any pockets? Oh yeah, it has a little zip pocket there inside. And this inside bit is like satin, silk. Has pockets on either side there as well. Any on the back? No. And it's got a belt here. This is the belt. It's belted as well with like a little silver buckle, which is nice. I took that off to try it on with something else. The legs are similar to the Jack Will ski suit flared. They have the inside little elasticated bit and they also have the zip. Oh, they go all the way. Zip. I got the size small and in terms of sizing, this fits me really well. Like obviously wouldn't have wanted to get a medium. I don't think they do extra smalls. I think all they do is a small. The only issue I have with this is I have quite a short torso. So there's just a tiny bit too much fabric in the torso area. So I just tighten the belt quite tight. And then I just, like you would when you tuck something into jeans, you just pull it up a little bit over the top. So it just sits like that. If I were a keen skier, if I went skiing all the time, every year, twice a year, I would buy one of these suits. They are about 400 pounds, which is, I would say like middle man. For example, the Jack Wills suit, I think is like 120, 150. Then you can obviously get like your perfect moment suits, which are like a grand. So I would say this is like middle man. This is definitely like, you can tell the quality difference between this and the Jack Wills one. So if I were a keen skier, I would buy one of these because they're so nice. They have them in so many different colors. They've just bought out like a Sherpa version, which is like, obviously you know that like Sherpa material, it's got like a little bit of Sherpa material and it's like shiny metallic. So nice. The green is so nice. I would have loved to have worn the green. I think that would look so nice in the like white snow. And yeah, they're very, very lovely. So I would 100% recommend them if you are like a keen skier. By the way, the sun is setting and like I'm about to lose all light. So, but this is another suit, ski suit. And this is the reason I wasn't gonna take the Jack Wills suit with me because I obviously had the pink suit and this suit, which is from Dare to Be. I would say this is like a, a cheaper version of the My Sunday ski suit. It's very, very similar. It's got like the same fabric inside, feels very similar. Nice and thick, got the faux fur hood, which is detachable. It's got zips either side, zips down. Does it have anything inside? No. The legs have the inside and the zip, which opens it up. And it also has little pockets in the arm, which is cool. I didn't notice if the other one had that. It doesn't fit me. So sad about it. I really wanted a white look. I really, I know that sounds silly because obviously I don't really think you're meant to wear white really when you're skiing because you're not visible, like you blend in with the snow. So I don't know if actually you're meant to wear white, but obviously this has bits of black in. So I'm sure, you know, <laughs> going off of Jack Wills and going off of what the brand said, the brand and online, it basically said, that they come up small, so to size up. And going off of Jack Wills, I was like, I don't want to risk it, like I can always add thermals. So I got home yesterday, was so excited, tried it on, and it doesn't fit me. I got it in the size 10. I should have got it in the size eight. And even the eight would have, like, it would have been like roomy, probably. Yeah, it's too big for me. I'm so sad. I'm so upset because I really, really love it. And it, it's a, it was a whole ski outfit of mine, like a whole, it was a whole day's outfit. And now I don't have it, which is so sad. But, you know, it's not the end of the world. It's just one of those things. I just have to get over it. I've learned my lesson. Order your stuff well in advance so you can try everything on and you have time to, like, get a different size. But... 
I would recommend this. It's very, it feels very warm. It's thick. It's very soft. They do it in a black as well. And I think, and like another color I feel. Don't know why I want to say orange, but I could be wrong. Or maybe it's red, red. Red, white, and black, I think they did it in. And this one is like, I want to say 150 pounds. Oh my God, no, sorry. They're so expensive. They're 400 pounds, but they're on sale currently for 159.95. So if you want to buy one of these suits from Dare to Be, go and buy them right now. By now, I have got PTSD from buying ski wear. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no clue what size to get. The suit, the white suit obviously doesn't fit me, so that's a whole outfit gone. So I'm like, shit, I need another outfit. I don't, I'm being dramatic. And just a little disclaimer, obviously, if you are going skiing, you do not need an outfit, a different outfit for each day you are skiing. Like, you just don't need it. I do this for my job. I take pictures for a living of my outfits. So that is the sole reason I am taking different outfits for every day I'm skiing and I'm only going for four days. I'm taking four outfits, one for each day. And that is the only reason. If I was not a content creator, I would absolutely not be taking this much stuff. I would not be taking this many outfits. So I get home yesterday, that outfit doesn't fit. I also bought some black salopettes from Dare to Be, which I bought in the size 10 you could fit two of me in them. That was like pants and a ski suit. So that's almost like two days of ski looks out the window yesterday, Wednesday, bearing in mind, I have to have everything by Friday to leave at 4 a.m. on Saturday morning. I'm obviously quite panicked at this point. I go onto Decathlon and I order a pair of black salopettes and a pair of white salopettes or ski pants, whatever you want to call them, I don't know the bloody difference. As I say, I really wanted a white look, and when the white suit didn't fit, I was like, fine, I'm just going to buy the Decathlon white pants. I know I can do next day delivery, I know it comes, because I literally had just done the order. I went to get the white salad pants, and I was like, what size do I get? Do I get the 6? Do I get the 8? Do I get the 10? At this point, I'm so lost with sizing, like, I just have no idea what to do. Every brand is so different. My Sunday ski seems to be pretty true to size. Dare to be seems to come up big. Jack Wills comes up like so small. So I'm like, oh my God, like what does Decathlon come up like? I have no idea. I'm trying to read reviews and every other review is different. One says they come up big, one says they come up small. And I'm like, ah, I don't know what to do. So I order a black pair in a size six. And I ordered the white pair in a size eight because they didn't have a size six in stock. They only had the size eight. So I was like, right, I have to get the size eight in the white, fine. And then I was like, I will get the size six in the black just in case the white don't fit. And at least I will have one, at least one of them will fit. Anyway, as I'm sure you can guess, I tried them on, don't fit me. <laughs> so these are the exact same pants in the black. The good thing about these is they have an adjustable waist so they've got this bit at the back that you felt for it out and then you can stretch and stretch round onto this belt pro. So like really, really, really good. So you can almost be like any waist size and they're, you know, hopefully gonna fit you. I could have got away with the white pants, but in the leg, they just looked, let me put these on for you and show you. These are the size six on me without sort of adjusting anything. As you can see, the waist is like pretty roomy. As I say, you can adjust the waist like this, which is great. So then they fit. So like now, they're perfect, snug, lovely. Imagine these, but one size bigger. Fine for the waist, because I can adjust it, but the legs, there was just so much fabric. This is the jacket that I had planned to wear with the white pants it is a brown gilet which i just loved the idea of wearing it with like cream or like white rather than black this is actually not a ski jacket this is just a brown gilet it's from tala feels like it's it will be quite warm but it's not a ski jacket so i have completely lost all natural light i'm hoping that 
with obviously lots of layers and thermals and by like my third day third or fourth like last day i'm gonna be confident enough to be skiing like quite a lot so i won't be as cold obviously if my first few days i go out and i'm like freezing i probably won't wear this but I love the idea of it. I'm gonna belt it so it's a little bit more flattering. So we'll see about that. You'll have to come and watch the vlog to find out how that went down. I realized there was a few things I hadn't shown you. So this is just a black knit, very high neck thick knit which I'll probably wear for one of the evenings it's from H&M and then these are my pajamas they are shorts but I feel like our chalet is going to be relatively warm I don't think it's going to be cold in our chalet so I think they'll be fine and they're like really thick and snugly <laughs> I just found this, which I got from an event last year when I went to an event with The Circle. And this was in the goodie bag. Billy London has selected the seven, seven, I guess that's meant to say, luxury seamless sculpting leggings for you. They are elegant, comfortable, and made from 100% high-tech biodegradable yarns. And they're basically black leggings, like very, very thick, like super stretchy black leggings so i think i'm gonna take them the only other things i have packed which you guys haven't seen is this white ribbed zara singlet vest and i also just added a black ribbed singlet as well from h&m and then i think the only thing i've added is this which is just a gray i don't know why i'm doing this i'm actually having having to unpack it's just a gray sort of cropped oversized like cropped sweater with this zip up it's actually new i got it from pretty little thing in the same order with the pink suit unitard and i really like it it's super cozy so i thought that would be good just for the evenings again i also have this which i'm umming and ahhing about taking and it is cute and i do think it's very ski resort it's from tala little fleece I, I love it i do actually like it i wouldn't wear it skiing but again for evenings out to dinner in the chalet sitting out we have a hot tub as well which will probably go in so i'm also packing swimwear actually my accessories that i'm taking so three pairs of sunglasses slightly excessive may not take these because these are the ones that i would probably wear the least definitely gonna take my black and brown these two are from Messy Weekend, which is the brand that I got the goggles from. So yeah, I've got these pink ones, which I love. And then slightly different vibe is these sort of brown and gold ones as well, which I love and clearly need a clean. The black ones are literally from New Look and I get complimented on them all the time and they were so cheap. So I will try and link them below if they're still available. I got these three little headbands in a pack from Amazon and I'm gonna live my best Bella Hadid life. I don't know if they suit me. I don't really suit having my hair scraped back. So I'm not sure if I'll even wear them, but we shall see. Also got some earmuffs off of Amazon. Not gonna lie, they are massive. They don't really fit me and the head bit is really quite a weird shape, but they're cute so i'm gonna take them anyway because they will keep my ears warm and they will look cute next my mittens obviously for when i'm not skiing to wear in the evenings out and when we're just sort of walking around the town when i'm not wearing my ski 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 gloves and then i'm gonna take my vintage chanel bucket hat because i think it's just very ski resort ski holiday ski chalet vibes how many times have I said that? Drink every time I say that. And then in here, I haven't worn it yet, but Strathbury very kindly sent me this actually before Christmas. And I have kept it this entire time to take with me skiing. It's a 
grey beanie it's so nice honestly the quality i think it's cashmere 100 percent cashmere honestly it is incredible Incredible. It's so soft, so warm, and it looks so good on. Normally beanies don't really suit me, but it's like the perfect shape and size, and I just love it. I kind of wish it was reversible so I could wear it cream as well, because I'm not a massive grey person, but I do like it. Can you bloody believe it? Got my ASOS package. Hello. I think I like it. I cannot be bothered to get everything out of my case to try it on with stuff because everything is so packed. Oh, but am I really going to take it with me without trying everything on? I think I. What the hell? Who the hell is that? I don't think that's for me. This is the size 10. Ignore the outfit, because obviously this is not what I'll be wearing it with. And this is the 10. I bought the 8 and the 10, but it's good. And it's got this pop of it up here. This isn't a proper ski jacket. This is just a puffer jacket, but I think it'll be fine, because I feel pretty tucked in. I feel like with all my layers on, it will be relatively warm. Why is it so good? Oh, she's got four bags. Oh, she's got four bags. Oh, she's got four bags. Oh, she's got four bags.